Good morning, folks. Instead of the SDO satellite, we're going to use the GOES SUVI today. We've had several more flares. We could have a CME coming our way, and we'll also peek in on climate and space weather science. We are starting with our star and finding the flaring and eruptive activity pronounced at various locations across the Earth facing half of the Sun. There are noticeable surges in several locations, including the north, the limbs, and the filament region just past central longitudes on the south. This is where we may have a small CME launch that could impact Earth's magnetic field, and we're going to watch that filament more closely here and see the surge around it called a hider flare. It was a minor one. As you can see on the X-ray flux chart, the M-class flares have continued erupting, and those are more easily noticeable in the 131 angstrom view, where they appear as bright flashes. We can see some evidence of the CME we mentioned a bit ago towards the end of the sequence, it's not a major one, surely a smaller one, but relevant nonetheless, as it may provide enhanced geomagnetic conditions early next week. We already have enhanced geomagnetic conditions today between KP4 and 5 due to lingering coronal hole effects with minor shocks in the solar wind as well. We'll have eyes on all of this, especially with the high sunspot number at the moment. Let's take a peek at some of the magnetic mixing within these sunspots. Top right, we see why the northernmost group has produced considerable flaring due to not only its size, but its intermingling of magnetic polarities here, much more so than the group just to its south. And the same with the incoming group. Quite a bit of complexity across the expanse of that active region. More flares are expected. Folks, here's the U.S. January climate charts, and what's most important is that once again we have the warming mostly found in the minimum chart bottom left, where the nighttime temperatures aren't getting as cool. The maximum temperatures of the day, top right, have less warming and more blue areas showing the below average marks, and it is pivotal to reconcile that what warming we have on Earth is more consistently being seen as a factor of nighttime lows not getting as low rather than it being all about daytime heat. Globally, the satellite data shows we were slightly below average as a planet this last month. Over to the right of the chart, you see January 2023 dipping just below the average line there. This from DrRoySpencer.com. Lastly, folks, there was a very well-written article about how successive impacts are more dangerous than one-off CMEs. This would be when we get consecutive solar blasts that interact and impact the Earth with a one-two punch. Long known to be more dangerous, but here they wanted to see how it impacted worst. And they found that that's when the two CMEs basically combined to hit at the exact moment that they reach Earth. Link to that article is below. Don't forget to grab your tickets to our upcoming events. That link is also below. And as we mentioned yesterday, our store is going to be taking a bit of a break. We've got dwindling item counts and a sale on our latest children's science book. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.